I'm so excited about all the progress that we have made as a community. Generations to come are pivoting quickly to Risk Five. As a community, we should be incredibly proud. Risk Five will be at the center of developments of space exploration for the next one to two decades. Risk Five is one of the core technologies for Qualcomm. You better understand this. It's really important that you get this. Risk Five is inevitable. What we've seen now in the past few years is that we are moving from an experimentation and innovation phase into something that is very mature and ready for production. To date, we have shipped over 650 million RISC V cores. RISC V is going to have the best processes. Ventana brings RISC V architecture to high performance data center and other applications. And we're seeing more than a thousand X speed up. Okay, not a thousand percent, whatever, a thousand X. RISC V is going to have the best ecosystem. There's an entire community, a massive community, that is investing alongside you in RISC V, that is progressing the state of the art. Clearly, there's a very strong interest uh, from the industry, from the customer, from government to accelerate the adoption of RISC V. It's not a wish, it's really a public service announcement. This is what's happening, this is what's going to happen. So you should plan your future computing endeavors around these facts. Every company, every CEO needs to tell their board what is their Risk V strategy. It's a great time to be part of the Risk V community. Bring your engineers, bring your thought leadership, help us craft the next era of computing together. Risk V is a good way to learn and get to know the technical details of the inside of CPU for the hardware side and even the software side. I'm very excited about the possibility of having um, systems that are completely open all the way down to the transistor level. Your contributions and the scale that you bring are going to help us to get over that tipping point and really drive broad-based adoption of RISC-V globally.